Hi, today we will explain about the software engineering code of ethic and professional practice. Okay, hi guys. Uh, my name is Noor Edifitri Iskandar. Today, we want to talk about a software engineer who contribute direct participant or by teaching to the analysis, specification, design, development, certification, maintenance, and testing of software system. Principle 1 Okay, Principle 1 is public uh, software engineer should act consistently with the public interest. So, software engineer should accept full responsibility for their work. Uh, second, moderate the interest of the software engineer, the good employer, the client and the users with the public good. Approve software only if they have well found belief that it's safe, uh, makes a specification, pass test, or dismiss our quality of life, and not harmful for the environment. Principle 2 okay, Principle 2 is a client and employer. Software engineer should act in the manner that is the best interest of the client and the employer. They should provide the service in the area is competent and honest and for right for the any limitation of the experience and education. Uh, second, moderate the interest of the software engineer, the employer, the client and the user with the public good. Okay, third is use the property of the client or employer only the way proper authorization and the client or employer knowledge and concerns. Principle 3 is about the product. Software engineers should ensure that their product and related modification meet the highest professional standard possible. Three for high quality, acceptable cost and a reasonable schedule, ensuring significant trade-off are clear to and accepted by the employer and the client, and available for consideration by the user and the public. Ensure proper and achievable goal and objective for any project on which they work or propose. Identify, define and address ethical, economic, cultural, legal and environmental issues related to work project. Principle 4 is about the judgment. Software engineers should maintain integrity and independence in their professional judgment. Tempered all technical judgment by the need to support and maintain human value. Only in those documents either prepared under their supervision or within their areas of competence and with which they are in agreement. Maintain professional objectivity with respect to any software or related document they ask to evaluate. For the fifth principle, management. Software engineers shall maintain integrity and independence in their professional judgment. In particular, software engineers shall as appropriate. First, ensure good management for any project on which they work, including effective procedure for promotion of quality and reduction of risk. Second is ensure that software engineers are informed of standards before being held to them. And the third is attract potential software engineers only by full and accurate description of the condition of employment. Hmm, now on to principle 6 is profession. Software engineers shall advance the integrity and reputation of the profession consistent with the public interest. In particular, software engineers shall as appropriate First, help develop an organizational environment favorable to acting ethically. Second is promote public knowledge of software engineering. And the third is extend software engineering knowledge by appropriate participation in professional organization, meetings, and publication. Okay. 
today I would like to present a principle number seven, namely quality. A software engineer should be fair and supportive of their colleague. Point number one, encourage colleague to adhere to this code. Point number two, assist colleague in professional development. And point number three is credit fully the work of others and refrain from taking undue credit. Principle number eight is self. Software engineers shall participate in lifelong learning and ethical approach to the practice of the profession. Point number one is improve the ability to create safe, reliable and useful quality software at reasonable cost and within a reasonable time. Point number two is improve their ability to produce accurate, informative and well writing documentation. And point number three is improve their knowledge of relevant standards and the law governing the software and related document on which they work. That's all. Thank you.